Hi, I'm Dr. Jacob Larson, and this is Read, Write, and Sight, the show where I teach you how to read, write, and sight. In this case, we're going to be talking about an app that you can use on your computer, in the internet, inside Microsoft Word, and a bunch of other places called Grammarly. If you haven't seen ads for Grammarly, Grammarly is it's a service to help you fix mistakes in your writing. Mistakes like spelling, punctuation, grammar. Um, I recently had all of my students add this to their computers because it's super helpful. I use it myself. It helps me catch mistakes that I make and I thought it'd be great to make a video. So here we go. All right, here I have the Grammarly website up. If you go to grammarly.com, you'll see um, the website here it's going to ask if you want to log in or you can add to Chrome for free the program is free but it does have a premium tier that you can pay I think it says 1165 a month something like that uh, some random number uh, and it it gives you extra features but all the things that the average person needs it's free so you're good okay I've already created an account but if you need to create an account You'd click right here, click right here, and you'd do that. I'm going to go ahead and log in. You can use Facebook. You can use Google. I've already made one, so we're good to go. Now, when you log in for the first time, it's going to ask you if you want to install their different applications, right? So if you haven't installed it in your browser, um, if you're using Chrome, Google Chrome, they have an extension to add to Google Chrome and you would just do that. I can open up the apps here. All right, so if you want to add it to Chrome, you can click on apps, or there's probably going to be a notification right there on the page to start with. You just click on it. It'll take you over to the, the Google App Store, the Chrome App Store, whatever it's called. You just install it, and boom, it shows up in the right-hand corner of your browser. This is good for uh, Mac or for PC. So. When it's in the right hand corner, it's going to give you some options. The page that I'm on, it's not going to check because it's its own page and it says, hey, we can't fix our own stuff. But I'll show you what it can do in just a bit. You can also install plugins and extensions for Microsoft Office, which I've done, and onto a Windows computer, or if you're on a, a Mac, if you're using a, an iMac or Mac Mini or something like that you can you can put on those as well okay let's say I'm writing an email and it's always good to have extra help in the background so let's say I click compose I'm gonna open up an email in Gmail I'm gonna go ahead and make this full screen and okay when I start typing you're gonna see in the right hand corner the G logo for Grammarly shows up. It also looks like an arrow, but it's G for Grammarly. So if I start typing something and there's a mistake, the number is going to pop up. It's like there's one mistake, and if you hover over it, it's going to give you uh, an idea on what you should do to fix it. And because I typed random stuff and it made no sense, it was like, well, I guess you could try this. You can bypass the bad spelling, add it to the dictionary, you can ignore it, you can search more things, or you know just follow what it suggests make sense so it's pretty simple and just when you use the internet it's gonna show up so if you are a teacher and your students do writing on the internet they're using something like Google Docs or or uh, Office 365 or something like that it should pop up in the corner when this is installed if you're doing an email if you're writing a paper if you're doing whatever this is just kind of always there in the background now if you're used to using Microsoft Word you're used to Word doing squigglies and kind of notifying you what's going on. Grammarly goes above and beyond. It can even take steps further than what Word does. So let me show you Grammarly inside of Word. So here I have, I have uh, the current version of Word. I've installed Grammarly and it's an extension. It's an add-in that I've put into the program. There's a lot of add-ins. This is one of them. And if I click on Open Grammarly, it opens up this column with some very special um, extensions at the top and it adds kind of a new tab to it. So if I've 
made a mistake when I type, it's going to help me to recognize that. This is going to start swirling. It's going to go, wait a second, that doesn't make sense. And then it's going to highlight it for me. So if I'm just typing a regular document, I'm not on Chrome, and I've put this inside of my Word document, I can still do it. Now it will prompt you where it says advanced issue. It will prompt you to try and uh, upgrade because there are there's a premium tier that can uh, that can do more, and it's going to want to charge you. You don't have to do that. <laughs> I'm trying to spell words wrong, and Microsoft is fixing them automatically. Anyway, it shows up in the corner. Let me show you how else you can do this. Um, okay, so you can install it into Chrome. You can install it directly into Office products like the website suggested. You can also use the actual page itself. So I'm going to go back to my Grammarly page. Nope, there it is, back here. Okay, and under where it says My Grammarly, you can upload a file and just have it double check it, which is pretty awesome. You can also, if you, um, I'm just gonna go off to, uh, to Google. Let's say I've got some text. I'm gonna copy it, and I want Grammarly to check it. I can click here and I'm gonna get a couple of options. I can turn everything on um, so we can check on the website and everywhere. I can tell it which version of English I'm using so I can switch to British, Australian, Canadian um, and I can just click new document. What this will do is it'll go straight to the Grammarly website. It'll open up a word processor where I can just copy and paste my text in or I can just type and then all those things that we had before on Word will also show up here. I don't currently have this on my phone but if you um, you can also download the Grammarly app and basically have some of the same functionality. You can turn it on as a keyboard and so whatever app you're using on your phone Grammarly can double check things. I haven't been super impressed with it on the phone but I absolutely love it on the computer. So again, here are some of the things that Grammarly can do for you. You can install it into Chrome and it can double check everything you're doing including like your email or something you're typing, a form, a document, something like that. That's in the browser. You can install it into Microsoft Word. You can uh, open it up. You can have here on the, on the right hand column and as you type it's going to double check your work in addition to what Word is already doing. So you're running two systems. They're not going to compete. They're just going to add on top of each other, right? And as I was trying to uh, to spell things incorrectly in Word, Word was already automatically fixing it. Um, but something that they didn't catch, Grammarly could catch as well. And then also on the Grammarly website itself, you can uh, you can log in and create a document. From here, you can download it. You can print it. You can do different things. So. It's a super powerful tool if you're a teacher. This is something that's free that your students can use. If you're a student, this is something free that you can use. And if you just want that extra bit of uh, security, a little extra insurance, this is a great tool for you. So I highly recommend it. I haven't been paid to say this. I'd take it if they did, but I haven't been paid to say this, I just thought this would be a good topic to talk about. So again, I'm Dr. Jacob Larson. This has been Read, Write, and Sight. If you, uh, you enjoy videos like this, uh, obviously please subscribe. But you can also check out my website, drlarson.com. I post articles there and other content, things you can download to help you as a student or help you as a teacher. So please check it out. Thanks for, uh, for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.